County school parents have one last chance to sound off about where their kids will go to school. Many are upset over plans to change that again. Now, a judge already vetoed previous plans from the school board. Avery Cotton is live at the Pasco County School Board office in Lando Lakes this morning. So, Avery, this has been going on for nearly two years now, but finally it could come to a head. Good morning, Gail. And the issue here is that the parents don't think that the school board is listening to them. They have been to these hearings time and time again, and they believe they are getting the cold shoulder when it comes to their kids' education. Now, the main issue at hand here is a plan that affects many students at J.W. Mitchell High and Seven Springs Middle. Students would be moved across town to River Ridge, something contested by a group of parents who claim the decision-making wasn't done out in the open. A judge agreed, saying those plans violated the Sunshine Law. Superintendent Kurt Browning started over, weighed dozens of comments from parents and taxpayers, and ultimately decided to keep the plan as is. That means Browning is proposing the same school changes that the parents were originally upset about with some minor tweaks. We're not going to do anything that we believe that would adversely impact kids. What they need to do is go back to the drawing board and start over and do what makes more sense. Move the kids that need to be moved, leave the ones that don't need to be moved. Now that public hearing is set for here at the school board headquarters tonight at 5 o'clock. I understand a lot of parents will be here and will be voicing their concerns. The new plan will be adopted first thing next month and it will be put into effect over the summer. Back to you. Yeah, a lot of parents bought real estate to go to certain schools and their kids are attached to teachers and friends. So you can see why they're so 